fit like two birds in a house on the corner of six and eighth. I've got to say, who would have thought there we were? So, first thing I'm going to do is apply a primer. You don't need much, you just need a small blob about the size of a grain of rice. And you're going to apply this on your upper lid. Blend it really carefully, making sure not to drag the skin. And we're also going to work it a little bit onto the lower outer corner. Now I'm going to take a fluffy blending brush. I'm taking a purple colour, I'm going to start on the outer corner. Work my way upwards and then stop about midway. I want to make sure that the purple colour is really nicely blended in. Because if this isn't blended in, all the rest of the colours are going to look messy. After you finish blending on the upper lid, take a flat shader brush with the exact same shade of purple and work it into the outer corner of the eye, again stopping midway and blending outwards. Now you can use the fluffy blending brush or the same brush that you're using currently, either way, whichever one works for you. Line the waterline with blue eyeliner. Now for the next eyeshadow shadow that I'm applying, I'm going to be using my fingers because I really want to pack the colour on but if you ever apply eyeshadow with your fingers, you have to make sure that your hands are clean. It doesn't matter if you've washed them on earlier on in the day, just clean them before you do your makeup. The last thing you want is bacteria and germs on your eyes. In our place. Once you've applied the bluey green all over the lid, you can use a brush to blend it out at this point if you prefer but I'm going to carry on using my fingers. And I'm not going to cover the inner corner of the eye, we're going to leave that for the green. So again, using my fingers, I'm going to start at the inner corner, and this one's a shimmery colour whereas the others were matte. And you want to start in the inner corner and blend outwards. Try and focus on getting the green in the inner corner as close to the tear duct as possible before you start blending it into the other colours. Now with a felt tip liner, I'm going to start at the inner corner, line the eye, and I'm going to draw three dots. So one, two, three, and the third one's just going to stop just about where you could really connect it up to the lash line. And now I'm going to do two more dots on the lower lash line. Starting at the top dot, you're just going to draw down with a slight curve and connect it all the way into the lash line. Once you've lined them up to the lash line, I'm going to take some silver rhinestones. Again, I know I'm using those a lot, but I like them. Now, you don't have to use silver, you can even alternate and maybe have blues and greens or even a red if you want. Same blue eyeliner, I'm going to apply a little bit more in the inner corner. Now I had to reapply my lashes after this because as you can see they weren't sticking very well. So yeah, you don't have to wear eyelashes that are this big, you can go for something a lot more subtle if you want. On my lips I applied a bright pink lip gloss but you can use whatever colour you want. Now to finish off I just used a peachy coral blush. You want to tap off the excess and starting on the apples of the cheeks, work it upwards. Now the easiest way to find the apples of your cheeks is to smile like an idiot. It looks funny and makes you look a little bit crazy but it works. So blend it out and make sure that it's even on both sides. And that's it, you're done. Time whispers into my ear and overwhelms petty fears. He speaks so sweet, he says. You get days that equal years. Travel back to Navy Pier, won't we, dear? Everywhere.